Hey crafty friends, it's Mel. I have a collective haul here to share. Um, just some random places and some things that I picked up. Um, and I just waited till I had enough to kind of show you in a video. So um, really quick, this is nothing that exciting, but in Dollar Tree, um, I'll start with there. I picked these up. I, um, in it, I'm in a Valentine's Day swap I'm actually hosting, and I thought these would be good to cut some up, and we're doing like a small embellishment swap share. And this one gives you 120, and I love all the different sizes. So I picked up two. I kind of wish I got some more, and I kind of wish they had other colors. But this was right at Dollar Tree, and I thought they'd be cute to add to projects. So got those there. I just want to share those in case somebody's looking for those um then i did an order to doodle bug i'm telling you guys i wish i was local and i could work there <laughs> um i just love them over there and i it's like my newfound thing and um i really enjoy like ordering from there and just chatting back and forth with the owners they're so sweet um I'll show you what I got from there. And like I said, this is probably like, they're all small orders, but this is probably like my fourth order, fifth order within, you know, a month, month and a half. Um, so they come in these little packages. And of course I pulled them out already, but I tried to put them back the best I could. I, I would love them to do a video tutorial and show me how they do this. Cause this is really cute. Even if you're just sending some happy mail to a crafty friend, yeah, hold on, but they use, um, thank you. They use some really pretty um, tissue paper and they stamp happiness is handmade on there and then it has two pockets on it and they seal it with some washi tape. So in the front there's usually like your, your note or maybe your receipt and this one is a handmade so it says uh, Mel thanks for all your kindness enjoy your goodies Kayla and Kathy. I think that's what that says Kathy yes. So um, that was really cute. I just love when you leave a note or something in there just it can be the smallest little thing but I think it makes the biggest difference. So um i'll show you i'll pull this out then there was this in here and it has a little one of their business cards and if anybody's interested in going there um they have if you order um anything over twenty dollars they send free shipping um and if you'd like i'll put my coupon code down below and you can save 10 percent off your first order um so if it's your first order with doodle bugs um and i'll leave their link below it's doodlebugswa.com. Um, if you go over to their site and use my coupon code, I'll put it in the link below. It'll save you 10%. So that's 10% and you'll get the, you know, if you spend over $20, um, you will get a um, free shipping. Yes, pink. But I was so cute. This was so cute. I was so excited. Yes, you can eat that. <laughs> um, that's Miss Talia sitting across from me, as always. Um, Maya's in school. So they sent this cute little um, little extra freebie. It's by Waffle Flower. And it's this cute little egg dye. And um, those of you who know me know I love my dyes. I love me some dyes. So I was so excited to get this. So thank you so much, Doodlebug. I think that's really sweet. So they put that in there, and um, that's always exciting to see. Even if it's the smallest little sticker, little thing, I just get so excited, and I think it's nice that they do that. So here's the things that I ordered. Thank you for your little wrapper. Um, so I got more of these. Um, like I mentioned, I am in a, um, I'm hosting a Valentine's Day tag swap, um, and I had a feeling I was going to be using a lot of these. I love these. They're $3.99, and you get, I believe it's $10. Um, it's shaker pouches, and they go with the, um, let me see if I have it here, the Dynamics, I'm trying to find, here it is, um, the Dynamics Tag Builder dies, here's some of them. Anyway, they fit perfectly um, around the one opening that opens it as a tag, and I'll show you. I'm, thank you, I don't need all the wrappers. Um, but here's one of the tags that I made, and here's the little shaker. So you don't even need to do the whole 3D foam and cut it real thin and bend it around. It just plops right in there, and then you would adhere um, something on the back. So this was just one that I was working on, and then it has little shaker goodies in there. So, um, is that funny? <laughs> so then it's got a little shaker, and then here's another one that I made. But this one I made before I received the, because at first they were out of them. And one good thing about doodlebugs is if you put, um, one, you could also hit the back and hold on, honey. You hit the um, back and stock reminder, and it really does remind you. And then it'll tell you when it comes in. That way, you have a stronger chance of getting it before it sells out again. Um, but the first time, I guess I took too long um, till I hit submit on my order, and then these were sold out by the time I checked out. Um, so I put in a little email, and then they said they got them back in. It was so fast that they got them back in. So I was really excited about that too. Um, so I decided to order a second one because I'm going to go through these with the tags that I have to make, um, for my swap. So I have those. 
So I got those from my stash. Um, but they're really convenient on the back. The only thing I wish is that they had, I'll show you what one looks like in case you're curious. Um, they look like this. The only thing that I wish that they had was on the back here, I wish they had like a little peel off sticker and that there was adhesive on here. So you do have to use your own adhesive. I did my HEG gun and it worked just fine. But I think next time I'm going to try my Tombow because it's just, just a thin area that goes on there. But still well worth it instead of having to do... I mean, I like to do my little foam 3D sometimes too. But uh, this is a nice option to make something really quick and easy and not have to die cut the, the acetate or anything like that. So it's kind of done for you. So I got those. There's that. Then I got this, and this was another thing that sold out before I got to my cart, because I like to look around and see what I can get and try to get it in one order so there's not a million things being sent out. But sometimes they'll get new things in. Um, I'm really hoping they get the new Doodlebug paper. Did you guys see that? It's so cute with the little coffee mugs and the little faces, and I forget what else is on there, but I, it's just adorable. But anyway, I got this Mama Elephant, and this is an older one. Um, this is a birch tree dye. So, um, I had my points and it was like, I saved them up and I had $15 off of my order. So I almost got one of the, I guess I'd say the other stamp set for free. Um, so that's another great thing with their, with Doodlebug. So I highly, highly recommend them if you want to check them out. So here's the birch trees and then they have little birds and little leaves to add. So, um, this is by Mama Elephant, but I thought this would be a fun one. Yeah, and I love them the birch trees and they make a really cute project So I can't wait to show you what I have in mind for that one. Then I picked this one up I think this isn't a um, and you're gonna say Mel. What is that? Stop tapping that please um, You're gonna say Mel. What the heck is that? And this is a mirror image stamp So I got another stamp before that's not specifically made for mirror image, but it was like a it's by MFT too. I kind of wish I didn't get that one now because I think this one's going to work better. But it basically was a watercolor stamp and it you just need any type of stamp that has a flat background. So that way you can do, say you like this little bear here and you want two facing each other. You can, um, yeah, I've had to turn this down, honey. Keep turning it up. So um, say you want them facing each other, you could stamp it and then stamp it on this mirror image here and then use that place your paper on there and I'll have them facing each other so that's really great for like Valentine's Day images that you want two little say like say I wanted this little bear to be facing this another one facing this way and I could do the girl and the boy love doing that by the way so that would be really cute so um let me grab my thing I just dropped so that was this was another thing I got from there I think this was $8.99 but I had quite a few, like, my discounts in there, so I was really happy to do that. But this is going to be one that, again, you can use over and over. And then, last but not least, this is not a new one, but I told myself no when it first came out. Like, no, it, you know, it's cute, but, you know, you don't need it right now. So I just saw so many projects with it, and I do need it. <laughs> Um, so this was kind of cool because this one ended up being almost free with my, it's regularly $17.99 with my $15, um, points. I just saved up my points from, you get, you start off, if you sign up for their rewards program, which is free, you get 25 points off the bat. And then I think you can earn 25 points if you like them on Instagram, you can earn 25 points if you like them on Facebook, um, and things like that. So, um, it's just really great. So I got this, um, this set here with the little birthday bear and him sitting on the cake. So I'm excited. Sorry, Talia's chomping on our Starburst. Um, I'm excited to use these little things there. So that was my order from Doodlebug, and I already have another one in the in the makes, but I wanted to get that cute little otter. I, that's another one. I'm like, do I need it? Will I use it? You know, I wanted to get that little otter one, but um, I, again, took too long, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. I just wait till it comes back in. Um, it sold out and there's an, also another one by Neat and Tangled, I think. This little squirrel one that I want. So I might go ahead and place that order and just wait for the outer one to come back in because you know I'll see something else in the meantime. I also want to try the MFT, the little ink spots, those little stamps. So anybody who used that ink, let me know um, how they work to stamp sentiments because I love the little okay. small cube. Yes, but that's the last one, honey. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, that's what I got from Doodlebug and I was really excited. I always get happy when their mail comes and again this came super duper duper fast like i think like within a day or two they're they're amazing i don't even know how they do it so that was that from doodlebug and what is this oh that's just my little invoice 
yep there's my invoice so we don't need that so then um i did some online orders and um these were actually from online d stashes so let me show you not this one i'll show you the one first that i got from one person she actually accidentally sent me the wrong stamp so i got stamp set thank you so i so i got this one instead but um it's she's gonna send me the new one but this one's avery l fanfare so this isn't the one i picked but um i'll see if she wants me to send it back to her but it was nice she even sent me i don't know what this is i guess it's some type of office max this is a different type sleeve it looks like she cut one open but um thank you <laughs> um so anyway but that's that stamp set that came accidentally but it has a cute little bow and some cute things on there i'm gonna see if she wants that one back but um, it might be more hassle for her than anything. Then there's this one. Um, I thought this was really cute. I saw this before. I don't know if they're closed down or still out, but it's Sugar Pea Designs. Um, but I really like this little girl in the bed with all her stuffed animals and the tissues, and she's got a little tray with tea and um, a little note on her little bed post. But it has um, sending hugs and kisses and get well wishes, get well soon, feel better friend. Um, got the sniffles. I like that one and thank you for taking care of me and again anything with tissues I love to add like a little real piece of tissue coming out So it makes the card kind of 3d and it gives it a little um, Texture and interest on there. So I'm excited to use that when I saw that one and these were like crazy cheap Whatever she had she had very fair prices. Um, I think that one was like six dollars Then she had these were really cheap too and I technically don't do a whole lot with butterflies but as cheap as this was i had to get it um this is the stamp it up beautiful butterflies um by sizzix and i don't know what that is there but there's one of the butterflies was over here's one of them they had the little sample things in there but there's one there's a smaller one here and then there's like a half a wing and half a wing you can cut out and make them 3d like they're flying but i don't know if you can see those different um Maybe that shows you a little better with my light. Um, but I got that one so cheap that I had to I had to add that to my cart. Um, so now I'm just waiting on the actual stamp set that I got, which is an Avriel one. Then they had this one, and this was also very, very inexpensive. And I don't know if you can tell what it is, but I just used it now to show you a sample. Um, it is a pillow box die by Sizzix. So pillow box. Um, so there's that. So I got that one. And although I don't tell you, what are you doing? My feet are just there. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Sometimes I swear she's not speaking English. Um, <laughs> so, it, what was I saying? Oh, I just used it to try it out with my glitter dye, and this was just a little sample one that it cuts in there. But what I like about these is there's not much adhesive needed. All you need, <laughs> you're silly. All, all you need is the adhesive for this little flap here, and then it goes like this, and then these two just fold in on both sides. And then it even has the little finger grip hole, so like when this is folded in, you have that to lift up, so it gives you an easy grip on there. So it's not much adhesive need, not, not crazy with the assembly, but here's just one, very plain, but it makes this little pillow box and you can put like maybe some washi tape or just small little ribbon gift you know to give somebody it's very teeny tiny and I just use my glitter paper and just throw a quick little that's a little stampin up ribbon like bow on there but what I was showing you is see how it has that little tab so you can easily pick that up and then you know use your finger and just open that and there's just something for a small little treat in there maybe some chocolates or something to leave for somebody so a, a quick easy little thank you so i thought that was um i was great that was so cheap so you probably ended up paying more for shipping to get it to you but i got a few things from her so it ended up working out so now i'm just waiting on my other avery l stamp set and i'm going to see if she wants me to mail that one back to her so that was that and then another really fun one is that um I got and then I got something from Joann's from online D stash and these were like dirt cheap <laughs> I don't remember I think this one was maybe six dollars for this whole set um, this one is a cross stitch tag and I wish I you know waited because I now there's I got them from MFT and I, I want to say they were like $22.99 each or somewhere upwards of that um, when I got all I got ovals circles squares and rectangles of the cross stitch because i really really love that and i still do and i'm glad i got it it's a good investment but they were really expensive they had like a yeah 
They had a 10% off sale at the time at MFT. I got I ordered it straight from there. But their shipping was high and um, even 20% off the full price is sometimes still kind of pricey. Especially when you can get this set for this. So I was surprised at how many. There's one, two, three, four, five dies in it. Um, and I just stamped out one. I die cut one. I don't know if you can really see the um, stitching on it. And I just stamped this little girl. And you guys, those of you who watched, I had this set originally and then I de-stashed it. And then I was so sad that I rebought it again. <laughs> but... I rebought it on D-Stash, so it was still cheaper. But I was really excited, so I got this one and the cross-stitch tag, and then I saw this one that was very similar in price, if not cheaper, and I just took it out because she had it facing this way with the dies cut down. And this is where I got them from. I don't know um, if you want to check. It says it's coming soon at Craft Galley. Um, that's the info there. So I don't know if she's going to sell these because I looked like she had more, but um, you'd have to look into that because I'm not sure. But... And I don't know if she makes these or these were just something she put in this packaging. I'm not really sure, but I was excited. So this one is like a postage set, but I love how it's stitched. So it's the postage and the stitch. I didn't cut one out, so I'll have to show you that in the future. So I got that one from that same seller. And that was just the packaging from that. And here's a little better one that I didn't the tape rip that other one off. So there's, if you want to pause it, see if you can see in that info. So, because other than that, I don't really know much about it, whether these are her dyes or her personal stash. It looks like she has more, so she must be either opening her own business. Then, last but not least, I got this one from her, and then I have a Joann's haul. But I got this one from her, and I didn't realize the size of this one, but it's a little house dye, and I cut it out to show you. So let me get that. So this one would be really good for six by six cards or maybe five by five, or you could trim it. Like if you just wanted to use, say from here off, you can make it fit where you want to fit it. And these would be really cute to send. And I colored up this little girl to show you. <laughs> like if you want to make a card and just put, you know, her at some point in the scene and just say, welcome to the neighborhood or, you know, little different things like that. But look how, look how detailed this is. All the windows, the trees, look, there's even a car. There's even a car in the parking lot. I don't know if these are palm trees or regular trees with the fence and the detailed houses with the chimneys. I thought they were really cute. And, and that would make a really nice um, green. That would make a really nice card. So I don't know if I'll be de-stashing this one due to the size or I'll see if I can make it work or whatever. But we'll see. So keep your eye out if you like that one. And it might be on a future de-stash of mine. You guys didn't know you were going to get serenaded on my channel, did you? Did you? <laughs> You're welcome. So, anyway, that was Miss Talia. She loves her little songs. Um, so, that, um, oh, no, I almost forgot. Then me and Maya did a, Joanne's had a quick flash sale. I belong um, to their email. Like, it's some type of exclusive member thing. I don't know. If, I, I feel like they probably send them out to everybody. But either way, they had a one-day flip quick flash sale where a lot of things were on sale and they had free shipping and it was only like a 24 hour thing. So, um, let me just pull that out. So what I got from there was, can you not do that? <laughs> Slurpee. Um, it was, it got some paper pads and these were like dirt cheap. This was like a dollar 60 for this doodle bugs paper pad. I think this is an older one, but I opened it to show you. But what I liked about this, cause I don't really have much double sided. These are double sided patterns. I don't know if you can, that one's picking it up with the checks on it, but it looks just white in the camera, but it had some lines on it, but some really cute, um, double sided. So when you make these little 3d pillow boxes or, um, things like that when you open it or like a little mini envelope you can see the inside and it's kind of nice to have both sides pretty in there so for $1.74 there's not much of this one's only 24 it's six by six paper pad called crafting color and it's all craft and it's 24 double-sided cardstock so that's by doodlebug design and then we got two of these bow bunny and they had another one that was like vintage colors but again you know me I love the bright the happy the cheery so, um, I forget which one Maya picked. I think she picked this one and this was like $2.97 and there's, you get 36 sheets and this was at the time it was on sale. So here's the one, stop doing that. So here's the one that the colors that comes in this one, I'll just do a quick flash through, but they're really pretty fun, bright colors. So that was, um, I think now maybe that one was Maya's. I don't remember which one I got, so I'll have to ask her and this one's pastel, but I like either of them. 
So they're the little polka dots. I don't know if the polka dots are coming up on camera. So we didn't get much from there. It was a cheap little, I think it was like under $10, whatever this order was. But it was great because it was free shipping. And they came pretty fast too. So I just got those three from there. So that was it. My little online shopping. Not much. So um, thank you guys for watching. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. Bye.